All right, and we are here once again at Empire's Comics Vault talking about Free Comic Book Day. Now, again, if you've never been down here for a Free Comic Book Day, it is not just 20,000 comics being given away, which is already a ridiculous thing. Uh, it is food trucks. It is professional wrestling. It is local creators throwing their books in your face like this guy no. right here. I'm joined by none other... <laughs> I'm not throwing my book at anybody. <laughs> the founder, owner, CEO, CFO, COO. Do I have BO? <laughs> the BO of Taurus Comics, Kyron Silva. Hey, Kyron. How you doing? Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. You've been on the show before. Many times. So this isn't a this isn't a, a new thing. Um, but we're talking about Free Comic Book Day specifically. Yes. So, how many Free Comic Book Days have you been to? Um, this is what, fourth? Four? For some reason, Ben keeps inviting me back. I don't he, know why. I mean, we didn't say he makes good decisions. We just said he puts on a good show. That's. I just think he ran out of people to invite, and I was the last one on the list. So he's like, Every yeah, year, you're the last yeah. on the list. He's like, I guess I'll invite. Yeah. And I have another table to fill. Yeah. But we know we know why. You're, you're here because you are a local creator, and you have fantastic comics like Shaman's Destiny, like Saw, the Lightning Wielder. Yeah. Congratulations on saying that correctly. Appreciate it. Well, I mean, I went, I made sure I, was, you know, the pronunciation because it's X O B. It doesn't, you know, it's it's mythology. It's important to learn. That book is going to be here, right? It is going to be here. <laughs> so, Kyron's going to be down here with his books. He's going to be chucking them at you. So, how long have you been making books? How long have you been making comic books? Um, I started actually making the books in 2013. Okay. Uh, officially started selling them in 2014 so this is year four for me. you've been doing it for a while and, and this is this is your career yeah it is you do this for a living i do it's not very successful <laughs> at this point <laughs> it's a career you live you live i, I, I didn't did say it's a good living it's well i'm not to the point where i'm eating top ramen every day I mean, I, top ramen's pretty good i sometimes I get a cup of noodle yeah and top ramen Ooh. so Ooh. i live it up you, you know <laughs> anyway I can't raise the roof. <laughs> it's, it's, it can't go too high. Yeah. Uh, so you're gonna have your books here. So Saw the Lightning Wielder is your newest book. Yes, it is. So that is the that is the first official foray of Taurus Comics, correct? That is correct. Um, so you had a successful Kickstarter. I'd like to uh, think that I was partially responsible for that Kickstarter. You were wholeheartedly the <laughs> only reason that I successfully got that Kickstarter. Again. I think it's, I think it's because I tagged Greg Capula. Yeah. And he was like, you know what? I like this guy. I'm gonna push this forward. And, yeah. then, and then it happened. Yeah. So successful Kickstarter book getting printed. Um, so what uh, what made you start uh, start start Taurus Comics? Um, I wanted to be my own creator. I wanted to not worry about what other people are doing within my group. Um, uh, with the other group I was with, Big True Comics, we were doing so many different things that making comics was being thrown on a back burner okay. a lot of times. So yeah. I wanted to take control of what's going on in my company. Right. Well, yeah, because Big Trees, I mean, they're at they're at events. They're doing sketches they're and and. Uh, caricatures like they're, they're they're like the super super group of of creators exactly. but you wanted you wanted to focus just on the comics that you were creating yeah i which, wanted it just to be comics nothing else yeah which is totally i mean that's it is a noble a noble uh quest to get your books and get them out there especially when you got saw so tell me about saw lightning wielder well uh saw lightning wielder stars a young woman who's in college um she's trying to support her mom who's a widow and the rest of her family and at the same time she's a superhero um, she has a power of a deity called Saw, which is based off of um, Hmong mythology. She has super strength, uh, ability to fly, and she can also manipulate lightning where she can, can throw it, she can hurl at people, she can form it into weapons like her magical axe. Um, she can make shields, she can do lots of things with lightning. Um, and along the way, she has to defeat the evil lord uh, Eclipse, who is the ruler of the Dark Realm, who's escaped into our realm and trying to take over our world. Which I, th I think it's fantastic because I've this is this is a, a a mythology that I have never heard of. I've never, you know, like what you've seen, like a lot of people kind of keep repeating the same mythology. We keep getting Roman, Greek, Norse, yeah. Celtic. There's like, nothing wrong with those. Mythologies. They're they're super entertaining, and it's not that they've been overdone. Like I, I can still be entertained by one, but it's refreshing yeah. to see to learn about a culture and a mythology that I have never, you know, no, it's never been really put out into the into the forefront and said, hey, here's a story that is. You know, dripping in this mythology, it's 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 heavily based in it, which I think is really fantastic. Um, so now, Saw is coming out. It's going to be an ongoing. Now, Shaman's Destiny, you've already got out. Yes, Shaman's Destiny is your uh, your book that I believe just just wrapped, right? Yeah, issue six just finished up last year. It's now 
compiled into this nice trade, which Ooh. you can get the entire series all colored, um, a letter, letter drawn by me, issues one through six. And where can we get that? Um, we can get it here at Empire's Comics. Yeah. Um, you can also get it at TaurusComics.com. What up? You know, if you've seen me on the on the street, I might have a couple in my back pocket. <laughs> like, Kyra, can I buy your comic book? Yeah, you sure. You never know. I might have it with me all the time. Who knows? Yeah. You're always just ready to, at yeah. a moment's notice, be like, yeah, Stan Lee, I mean, do you like my idea? Wow. Yeah. Does Stan Lee like my idea? I have no idea. <laughs> Last time I talked to him, he was telling people about his favorite color. Is really That was really awesome. And that was, I don't know. That's, that's a poor guy. He's... The, that has been crazy. The the stuff that has been happening is yes. it's so bizarre, and you don't know what to believe. And it's uh, there's so many stories coming. Yeah, up. Well, we should talk about you because you're you're on the interview. Okay, <laughs> I mean we can talk about either one. I don't care. Yeah, I mean, okay, let's you know let's just all right. But let me know. Come back to me. Cut. We're gonna stop talking about it. And we're gonna talk about that. So so Shaman's Destiny you got it out in trade. You got it colored. You got the individual issues. Um, saw the lightning wielder. It's gonna be out. So now, are you what are you you're gonna be down here? You're gonna be having your books. You're gonna be doing. Sketching, you used to be hanging out. What do you um, got? What are the plans? I'm gonna have Saw and I'm have Sean Destiny. I'm going to have um, free posters. Nice. I'm actually gonna give three. out 200 free posters. Anybody comes to my booth. Um, I'm gonna have Prince of Chrissy Cha, who is a local model, who's also the cosplay model for Saw the Lightning Wilder. Saw those look dope. Yep. Um, I'm going to be doing sketches because everybody wants to do that. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I have yeah. going on. I Ooh. might have something else, but I don't know. Ooh, it's gonna be awesome. Secrets. Secrets, secrets, make no friends. Wait, is that the line? No, I don't think so. Ah, whatever. Well, I mean, in this in this case, secrets are good because we don't want to blow. You know, we want to we want to come down here. We want to be excited. Yeah. Uh, now the question is, you as a uh, a combat athlete. Are, I like how you phrase it. I think, com I think combat athlete is the best <laughs> phrase ever, okay. uh, and I think it really encompasses guys who actually do combat yeah. and guys who do scripted okay. combat. So now you were trained by none other than Big Ugly. Yeah. Big Ugly Big of ugly. SPW. Yes. Uh, Are you going to throw your hat in the ring? No. Hell to the no. <laughs> Those okay. wrestling days are over. That answers that question. I was going to be talking about this big comeback and this run in into the Royal, into the Royal, into the Rumble no. by, by Kyron, no. but apparently. No. Sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm not. Um, well, I'm disappointed. I know. It's not your first time you've been disappointed I by know. me. Yeah, especially. Okay. But but it's okay because I am going to see your comic book. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not actually going to be here, but I'm going to see it eventually. Why won't you be here? I'm going to be at a bachelor party. So what's more important, the bachelor party or this? It's free comic book day. Uh, believe me, um, if you're watching, Vance, I'm not happy that you put it on this weekend. Um, but we'll talk about that mm. later. Oh, okay. Mm. Wow. Tim, you're lucky I love you. Yeah. T Tim's you, the bachelor. Tim and Vance? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. on you. Yeah. You want to give out their addresses so we can... Let's do this. Let's All dox right. them. Let's, All right. Let's get... The, might, maybe in... Well, they're playing video games. We'll swat them and... You know, oh. That'd be terrible. That'd be... Don't do that, kids. No. Don't ever swat somebody this, on this my game. This interview has gone off the rails. That usually happens with me in interviews. It's the last one. It needed to get weird. <laughs> That's uh, what happens when you get me here for three hours with no food. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm feeling you. I'm hungry. All right. Um, we should have pizza after this. Oh, let's do it. So you're going to be down here. You're going to Taurus Comics, Kyron Silva. It's going to be down here for free comic book day. Like I said earlier, and like I've said so many times today, 20,000 free comic books. 20,000? 20, 20,000 free comic books. Ben is going to be here. There's going to be sales. Mm -hmm. There's going to be local creators. Yep. There's going to be food trucks. Wrestling. Professional wrestling that Kyron will not be participating in. Roller derby. Roller derby. Oh. It's all about the roller derby. Forgot. I haven't mentioned them all day. The Sac City Rollers are going to be here. Yes. West Coast Avengers are going to be here. You can take some pictures of some superheroes. Uh, you can hang out with Ben. He's a kind of a cool guy. Um, he's, he's got cool dogs. No? Not that cool. Not that cool. Oh. His hot You're sauce. You're not going to be here for your comic day? What was that, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have his hot sauce. He's going he's gonna to be running around like crazy because Ben is like. He's it's a, bad a man. maniac on Free Comic Book Day because he puts it all together and it's awesome. So, Kyron, thank you for coming on. Anytime. Thanks for hanging out. Um, so be sure to check out all of the creators that we've talked to today. Check out the other videos to uh, see the other interviews we've had. Um, get down here. It's going to be fantastic. We will see you Saturday. Free Comic Book Day. Empire's Comics Vault. Be there. Or be square.